Welcome back to the 10th episode of Muddy Mac Week in Review. My name's Dave Molinaro and this is my partner Nolan Sowersoff. Spring sports are in full swing and this past week softball opened its CSAC play winning three of its first four games including a sweep of Cedarcrest and a split with Cabrini on Saturday. Baseball also opened up CSAC play this week with a three game series against Newman. Here are the highlights. Immaculata looked to rebound from a loss against Newman while hosting them in a doubleheader. Now throwing out the first pitch, Philip Davis. Newest Mighty Mac, Philip Davis of Team Impact, threw out the honorary first pitch. Look for a special feature on Philip in the coming weeks. In the bottom of the first inning, Newman tries to pick off Di Domenico, who gets caught in a pickle. McCormick breaks for home, scoring for the Mighty Macs, cutting the lead 4-1. to one. In the bottom of the second inning, with Di Domenico at the plate, the Mighty Macs execute the perfect double steal, with McCormick safe at second and Lascom scoring, tying the game at 4. In the same at bat, Di Domenico hits a shot up the middle off the shortstop's glove trickling into center field, and McCormick takes advantage and scores for the Mighty Max, giving them their first lead of the game. In the top of the fourth inning, pitcher Dan Whalen gets the strikeout, one of his five Ks on the day, and during the stretch he retired 14 of 15 batters. In the top of the sixth inning, Nick Campione comes in for a lead for Dan Whalen, getting a strikeout on three pitches, holding the 7-5 lead. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Patrick Bulware at the plate crushes a two-run double to left center field, making it 10-5 in favor of the home Mighty Max. For Bulware, that's his 100th career hit, and he's the fourth Mighty Max to do so. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Eli Valtero got an RBI double, his third hit of the day, extending the Mighty Max lead 11-5. The Mighty Max finished off the Knights in game one with a score of 12-5. And the Mighty Max get the win, 12-5. In the finale with Newman, Immaculata fell 6-3 in Game 3. Women's lacrosse dropped a pair of conference games to Marywood and Newman, and men's lacrosse lost two non-conference games. Men's tennis fell in all three matches this week, but will play three more matches this coming week. The Mighty Mac track and field team competed in the Golden Ram Invitational this past weekend. Angel Jamal Rodriguez had the best finish for the men, winning the 1,500-meter race for the third time in his career at the event. Alex Okoro topped the list of finishers, finishing in fifth place for the women in discus. This upcoming week, baseball has four non-conference games, and softball has a doubleheader at Baptist Bible College before hosting Marywood on Saturday. Women's lacrosse travels to Centenary tomorrow before playing back-to-back non-conference games later this week. Men's lacrosse travels to Cabrini on Wednesday and hosts to sales on Friday. Golf opens their season with the York Invitational later today. Thank you for watching this week. My name's Dave Molinaro. And I'm Nolan Sowersoff. And go Max! Oh,